ground shifts for MPs who backed the finance bill. This short recess that's lasting until uh, July 22nd is turning out to be very different from their usual recesses, mm -hmm. especially for lawmakers who voted yes in favor of the finance bill that has since been withdrawn. Mm -hmm. The leaders have found themselves on the wrong side of history, of course, after President William Ruto declined to assent to the bill following public uproar and sustained protests. And of course, this uh, contentious bill is the reason as to why most of the MPs that voted yes are having a hard time going back to their home turf simply because most of them cannot go to a place called home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because their houses have been burnt. I'm not going to mention the names not to trigger the people within the area, but we've seen some MPs actually lose their houses uh, from fire. Some are not able to even address uh, their parliamentarians. Crowd, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is from Webuye. I'm just going to say mm -hmm. Webuye. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to address people. Namtu wakatokeoko na kijiti gave him a good clamp on the head, you know. And it looked funny on a video, but I'm just looking at the situation whereby if now that's the tone, yeah, it means that people are clearly stating what they do not want. And when you're sent, you're representing a group of people. You're not representing yourself. When you represent yourself or your political party, then the ground has just shifted. That's right. Um, Kitui Rural MP David Mualika, while sympathizing with those of his colleagues who voted yes, mm -hmm. says that um, they should have read the room a bit better. Mm -hmm. And he has avoid, uh, asked them to avoid going to their constituencies until things could cool down. Mm -hmm. He says, quote, for now, they should wait until the temperatures go down. And not go to the ground until these demonstrations have slowed down because the people are still angry. Mm -hmm. The question here is why are the people still angry? Because at the end of the day, anyone who voted yes did so against the wishes of their constituents. I don't think there's any constituency in Kenya that said, you know what, we want this finance bill. So I think the anger is valid. The fact that um, we're there in a sort of social jail for me is wonderful because we need to apply pressure from all angles. Mm -hmm. If they can't address a church, they can't address a Harambe, they can't address their constituencies, uh, constituents at a rally, they can't go quote-unquote launch projects, then it means that they feel the impact of their decisions. And it's a good reminder that they are in parliament, like you said, to represent people and not the executive. And I'm telling you, this two-faced branding is uh, actually really difficult because the president, even in his address, praised, uh, not even on one occasion, twice, mm -hmm. praised uh, the uh, the member, members of parliament who voted yes yeah. and uh, termed them as heroes, but critiques branded them sellouts. Now, critiques are not just critiques. Critiques are also the constituents who right. are being represented by these men and women. The electorate. Hmm? I don't know what you think about this. You can actually grab yourself a copy of the Daily Nation. Page 3 has finer details about that. 